okay. Try not to fall asleep. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> a bit muddy. Okay, we start off with the numbers across the top. As you can see there, there's 90, 91, 92, 93, and so on. That's your Eastings. Now, the reason they call Eastings is because collectively they are going towards the east. And then you've got your numbers on the side of the map, they are your northings because collectively they are going north. And as you may see, uh, you can see the numbers there 30, 31, 32, 33, and so on. Now there's a bit of a confusion with these Eastings and Northings, um, but if you read the legend, the, the details on the map itself, it will tell you exactly what I've just said. And the numbers on the bottom of the map are the same as the top, as you can see 90, 91, 92, 93 and so on. And the numbers on the right hand side of the map are the same on the left, as you can see, 30, 31, 32, 33 and so on. And the numbers are not just on the edge of the map, they're running on the map as well a few times, like this. In the corner of the map, there's a couple of letters. Uh, this one is SN, and uh, it represents a 100 kilometer square area. And uh, if there's a crossover on the map, then it'll look like this. As you can see, this one's going from SN to SO. Now, you can quote these letters at the start of the grid reference, depending on your circumstance. If you've dialed 999 and asked for the mountain rescue because you're in trouble, then you should definitely quote these letters. Okay, these grid squares are one kilometer from end to end. And uh, for a start, let's let me show you how to do a four-figure grid reference. So say you're in this square here, what you would do is get the two numbers from the top or the bottom which would be 99 nine, and the two numbers from the left of the map or the right which would be 32 and that would give you your uh, four figure grid reference so the grid reference would be 9932 or SN9932 and the easy way to remember which grid square you're in is where the, the lines cross over into a letter L and that's the square that you're in. Now to do a six-figure grid reference what you need to do is divide this square into little one-tenth squares with the first space being zero and the last space being nine. So if I wanted to do a, a six-figure grid reference on this little cross here it would be 998329 and that would narrow your location down to a 100 meter square or one tenth of a kilometer. Now there's a saying uh, to help you remember that action and that is along the corridor and up the stairs. Now you could take that 100 meter square and do this action again along the corridor and up the stairs and make an eight figure grid reference and that would narrow you down to a 10 meter square but realistically all you need to learn is a six figure grid reference so the other little cross would be S O zero 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 three two two and finally I'd like to say when you quote these figures you should always say the figures one at a time. If you had 805 and you said 85, it might be confused as 85 instead of 805.
especially when you're talking on a phone or radio. Wakey, wakey, rise and shine, lesson's over. <laughs> I hope it wasn't that boring. <laughs> okay, now you know how to do a grid reference, a six-figure grid reference um, from these Ordnance Survey maps. And uh, it's, it's good to know how to do these things, as the more you know, the more interesting it gets. So, uh, if you're ever sort of come into this country and you buy one of these maps then you'll know how to locate yourself how to tell someone where you are and uh, yes yeah, it's, uh, it's it's a good thing to know it's very simple as well and uh, yeah very enjoyable as well so uh, so thanks for watching and uh, have a nice day and all that and uh, cheers bye